Hi everyone, welcome back to True Alchemy. So today we're going to find out how have you outgrown um, your old friends and family members. Um, I just want to put in a disclaimer that this is not to make you feel boastful, but this is a lot about how much healing have you been bringing to the collective. So we got three piles from left to right. Pause if you need a little longer. Pick the one which calls your name the most. And I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello, pile number one. This is going to be a reading if you chose this shell. So let's find out how have you outgrown um, your old friends and family members. If you skip the intro, I just would like to put a disclaimer that this is not to make you feel boastful um, or superior in any form. It's just to bring awareness about how much healing have you been bringing to the collective, all right? So let's find out through a few tarot cards. I'm gonna get this spread out and then I'm going to begin deciphering your energies. Pile number one, how have you outgrown others? Did I say pile number three? You might have a message on that. right something unsettled over your yeah so pile number one how have you outgrown people i'm hearing um eating eating disorder so I'm definitely going to mention trigger warning Trial number one. Bottom of the deck, I see the Ace of Wands. So let me just see how this all fits. So this is reversed, upright, reverse. This is upright. Reverse. Upright. Upright. And we need one more, which is going to be upright.
gift, this one. The hanged man. I see the eight of wands. So let's get the other cards out as well. We're going to take one of the white light oracle. This is really good for healing purposes. I'm getting the number 23. Excuse me, so that's five. We have five over here twice. Aurora of Gamma. Wisdom of Oracle, I guess, pile number one. Chop wood. Serendipity. What about the deck? I see co create. All right, so that's enough for this pile, is what I'm getting. I'm gonna take a minute also I am going to read out about this so if you're interested in hearing about it which is pretty insightful otherwise uh, you might as well skip forward so we have Aurora of Gamma So this is, it's time to let go of what has been. You are swiftly, swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the threshold before you now. Embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach rather than dodgy, dodgily committing yourself to previous ideas or plan. You have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve, continue your healing journey with the trust that a positive outcome is in it. I imminent, imminent, excuse me. Um, authenticity. I'm getting a lot about authenticity since my throat chakra is um, scramming up. Um, imminent. I feel like it was so difficult to say imminent. It's, it's almost like you found it really difficult at some point in your life where you felt like, will I really be able to change my fate you know what i mean so aurora of gamma indicates shift into a new cycle but also growing presence of light within which is creative light of spirit tuning into that opens options for living soulfully away from group of ignorance no longer constantly ensnared by the compelling and ultimately fraudulent conjurations of the ego her new era is an inner transformation with positive external consequences. Trust in what your inner light is manifesting in your heart and in our world. Our way of being becomes more fluid, responsive and creative. We engage in our experiences to grow positively it's through how we respond to what is happening. Wow, this is really, really powerful. That's why I actually mentioned that it's good if you actually listen to what the cards say because certain descriptive books are really good with um explaining on what kind of energy you're embodying over here and pile number one i feel like this is definitely about you being a cycle generational cycle breaker so i'm just going to take a minute and really understand the message that is coming through for you
So, um, file number one. Let's begin off by saying that you are a very spiritual being. Um, you're already quite tapped into your spirituality. I feel like you might be an artist or musician or there's some creative expression that you definitely have or should inculcate. But I feel like this is since this is about the fact that what you have outgrown, um, especially from what you were taught or birth into, this is a lot about um, narcissistic abuse, um, the confusion that was created, what love should be and why it was so difficult for you to actually inculcate intimacy on a day-to-day -day level now what i mean by day-to-day -day level is that you were probably okay with being close to somebody or being emotional with somebody once in a while now that could be a particular gap because of the fact that your household temperament or the household atmosphere used to be very temperamental it used to be unpredictable um most days um it used to be quite hostile for a child to be over there I feel like you were not allowed to be a child or just how life turned out. It's like you didn't enjoy your childhood and maybe you also had addictive tendencies. So now in the beginning when I picked up on an eating disorder, I feel like it's a lot about stuffing through your feelings. And that's not always indicative of just bad eating habits, but it's also indicative of addictions and codependencies. Now, one of the things that I really, really pick up over here is codependencies that you've outgrown. Um, your, your family family lineage has been struck with um, um, I wouldn't say the word eating disorder but people do have bad habits of eating their feelings I feel like your ancestors have struggled with this um, especially something about Native American and African is what I'm picking up here um, a roots going back down till there or I'm getting also Indian as well over here there's something about cultural differences that has also affected your upbringing perhaps your parents are of different castes or religion there's something quite diversified yet very um strict in in your family this is a lot about your family that's what that's what's coming through I feel like especially your mother figure and this could have evolved into you as well um your mother could have been very aggressive or um brutal with her words due to whatever circumstances this is something that was very prevalent and it, you picked that up and this is something that has really damaged your inner child it has made you feel unworthy of a lot of things in life the good life love um, affection purity um, because you did not understand what love truly means because of the fact that you struggled with understanding why is love on different tangents why does love hurt you know and it's almost like your parents are controlling and it's very interesting that i said they are so they probably still are like this they do try to monitor your life decisions quite a lot and it makes you really unhappy and i feel like what you're outgrowing um because I feel like this is a process that's coming through, which is still um, inculcating in your day-to-day -day life, is this, the Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. Definitely a progression that I do pick up over here, that you are not very attached to your parents and your family and your childhood friends and your old friends because you understand that being attached to them makes you really anxious. It pulls away from how much do you want to go out there and explore life on your own terms. And this could also be something that was bound to because of cultural um, differences and rules and regulations that were like, you gotta stick to them. And it's almost like you just put a break to it and you're like, I do not want to follow this it's, it's like with this chop wood and serendipity it's like you're choosing your happiness and this is something really really prominent um that your ancestors are coming through and telling me your spirit guides you know 
you probably have a grandmother that's looking after you in the spiritual realm um and also i'm picking up on an aunt there's a lot of feminine energy that has been helping you gender non-specific i mean that whether you are a man or a woman this is a lot about your ancestors especially your feminine energies and now feminine energy does not mean that the ancestor is male or female but it's usually that they embody a feminine energy and they've been nurturing you they've been taking care of you they've been guiding you they've been giving you this enlightenment that you supposedly really need because when i say that you're a generational pattern breaker it means that some people in your family were always offered the advantage of being this chosen one in your lineage but they could not gather the courage to do so and this is something that you picked up the broom and you're like no i really want to get my happiness i do not want to compromise on my happiness we have 18 this is number nine so you're ending out a cycle we have nine twice over here which is a lot about you just ending out the cycle where i'm like i've had enough you've put your foot down and this is something you should be really proud about because a lot of people are not able to do that because they're codependent i feel like one of the things that has really um caused a codependency in your family unit is people making each other feel like they need them so almost like i feel like your mother figure has also been someone who likes to feel needed she feels like um she should um cater to other people and that's how she feels love because um she feels needed so it's almost like she had created a codependency in your body in your nervous system in your brain especially that you really need her you need her to make um important decisions in your life and that's not true because you are the sale sailor um of your own boat right um this is all about you whichever way you want to take and if you get a high tide you will still get through right um it's not about the fact that you have to cut out people and if it is too much i feel like you will understand when you need to draw boundaries but i feel like it's a lot about you cleaning up your act in your life where it's required to unlock potential in your life to unlock the gems of a uh, fuller life you know as it's said in the book um especially about the aurora of karma this is a lot about somebody completely embracing their um just the gifts that life has to give with a page of wands this is an adventurer this is somebody that really likes to explore life and you can look at how beautiful the shell is over here this is a lot about tropical vibes maybe you do enjoy that maybe you do want to travel maybe you do have a vagabond spirit in you maybe you do want to break free but it's almost like you want to experience a lot of things that are tradition apart and often sometimes you just feel stuck you can see how this hanged man he has his uh, foot stuck over here and it's almost like you have unstuck yourself piece by piece you're doing this as you are enlightening yourself as you're working on yourself as you are spending those sleepless nights trying to understand how can i unlock myself from these things you know how can i break free from it in the higher front we have two keys unlocked over here locked over here excuse me and you're unlocking them it's very interesting how there's a t-shape uh, pattern running down this uh, hierophant scape and then we have a t-shape over here as well so this is definitely a parental figure because a hierophant can indicate a parental figure that has um created um baseless neediness in you okay so now you're breaking free from that and what is what this is really doing is is making you a lot more independent to choose things that truly truly make you happy and that is very important right because i feel like you all and have a fight in your head and heart that what should i do and you're realizing that anything that this person says to you even out out of arguments or just condescending wordings or anybody who's did that to you is not true because they were projecting their insecurities trying to manipulate you and often people places things parents family friends they don't realize that they are being manipulative because they know that they need you more than you need them and they see you slipping away so again um i would like to say this is not at all to stir up bitter feelings but for you to understand the psychology of certain people because it's important to not only understand why they do certain things that they do and to understand that every person has their good and bad attributes but i feel like you are already on the path of understanding why why certain things have been really tough for you to leave behind and why it's important to filter out a lot of conversations a lot of name calling a lot of bitterness from your heart so that you can refill yourself with 
self-esteem if you struggle with self-esteem if you struggle with thinking that you're not worth it pile number one you're on the right path and i just wanted to tell you that you're you're really brave uh, for separating yourself from critical comments that you've heard in your childhood where probably a mother figure your parents or feminine energies in your life have rejected you or make you feel like you need to rely upon them because you certainly do not and you can do everything that you need to do for yourself because it's so it's so rare to find people that can actually take care of themselves but I feel like you will definitely accomplish that because you are doing the work and I certainly do mean that it is difficult but it's not impossible and I feel like that was the reason why I was stumbling upon the word imminent right because your ego um, and your soul was really crushed by these people's subconscious patterns of manipulation and keeping you entrapped and maybe that is their way of saying that we love you but it's not exactly love it's not purity right so i i feel like um this is a really good thing and i'm very proud of you that you have understood that it's not impossible for you to actually build a life and carve it out exactly the way you want to with every minute detail that relates to what your soul desires am i right so we're gonna get one advice card for you before i conclude your reading pile number one i get really good vibes um honestly i feel like your spirit guides and i am myself very proud because we've all been there and this is something you should definitely keep going on doing for yourself right so advice for pile number one okay we have a really pretty card this is my favorite the universe has my back so never forget that all the support you've been getting your ancestors spirit guides angels god divine power higher power holy spirit whoever you believe in they do have your back you're never alone attack pain fear judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help so any person who treats you um, poorly or if you feel like treating somebody poorly and doing injust against them it it means that you're not feeling connected with yourself you're not in a love vibration and what i mean by love vibration is not a holy sense of oh love and light come and disrespect me i do not mean that i mean that take a time apart from that situation get back grounded get back to your heart centeredness and heal yourself from whatever is really bothering you whether it means you need professional help or you need a friend um, just be a little mindful because you might also have picked up this tendency to hurt people through your words because you've heard that a lot so overall pile number one i feel like this is commendable progress um let me know down in the comment section if that was helpful uh, hit the like button subscribe uh, hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number two this is gonna be a rating if you chose this shell and the nine of pentacles before i begin i would just like to add a disclaimer if you skip the intro that by no means i am trying to make you feel boastful about your progress but just um gain an awareness about how much healing you're bringing into the collective okay so let's find out for pile number two how have you outgrown your old friends and family members pile number two i'm seeing a lot of um, heart chakra healing and you're pretty gifted i'm hearing indigo and rainbow child so maybe you have feelings of not feeling like you belong in your family or there's just something really different about you where you feel odd um like scapegoated at times and you're really really sensitive you're an empath and you're um, understanding this slowly by slowly and i feel like maybe you're gaining interest in tarot you're gaining interest in healing yourself um 
you're gaining a lot of interest in um, ethereal things, otherworldly things, things that are not just visible in this dimension. It's also because your spiritual nature is really um, coming online and you might find yourself being attracted to spiritual people or people that are more authentic, that live by their heart, you know. Um, I feel like recently maybe you've had um, huge awakenings and even if not, it's just a lot about I'm getting um, I'm getting a little bit of rookie energy like it's almost like you're getting really interested about your spiritual nature is what I'm feeling Your energy is really playful. I really like the energy I'm tapping into. Um, it's very play playful. I feel like you're healing trauma and you're becoming more lively. I'm also getting healing or recovery from some addiction. So let's see, pile number two. How have you outgrown your family? This is upright. This is number four reversed. This is upright. Pile number two. very artistic energy you might really enjoy listening to music um, musician um, writing something about just you being very creative and um, you might be an ambivert or an introvert or you're just enjoying a lot of alone time or maybe that's just how you've been since childhood Nine of Wands, pile number one. How have you outgrown? I'm seeing the Emperor, so let's see if that comes out. It did. Okay, I might be wrong. <laughs> I saw something. Uh, what do we have? Should I take this? Not again. Upright. Knight of Swords. So we do have the Empress over here, bottom of the deck. I see the Seven of Pentacles. Something about this card is not fitting. Yeah, this is not fitting. Seven of Swords. What do we need for Seven of Swords? Five of Cups. Okay, I'm just gonna get the spread out. We're going to use the White Light Oracle. This one. <clears throat> we have Yogini of 285 Hearts. Universe has your back. Pile number two. 
in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love the universe works fast when I'm having fun All right, so Spirit wants me to stop over here with not getting any more cards. I am going to clarify the Knight of Swords with another deck. This is a really cute deck. It's called, I think, I don't know, it's some punk. It's, it's a really funny name. Steampunk and it's the mini one. I actually didn't intend to get the mini one, but I didn't see what I was, what size I ordered. It's pretty funny though. So let's ask Spirit to clarify the Knight of Swords. Spirit, can you please clarify the Knight of Swords over here? This is so funny. It's like a children's deck. Apply <laughs> uh, reverse, reverse. And we have seven of wands upright. It's okay. We need more clarifiers for the king of wands in reverse. This is upright, nine of pentacles again. I'm just gonna pick out any so the second from the bottom and the fifth this is gonna be reverse this is the eight of wands in reverse three four five upright I have the three of cups okay bottom of the deck I see the three of pentacles okay well So we have the clarifiers for a knight of swords over here. Now let's read about Yogini 285 hearts. This is 97, 16, 7, very spiritual number yet again. There's something about your energy that's really confusing me. Like, I feel like you have a lot of pain in your temples or you're just experiencing a lot of headaches. Like, I'm getting a lot of ascension symptoms and I'm feeling really dehydrated, which is, again, an ascension symptom. So I feel like you really need to take care of yourself and be a little easy on yourself as of now. No chasing the bag right now is what I feel. It will come to you, okay? So let's read before I give away all the messages. Changes in your life, including closed doors, or missed opportunities are not going to derail your fulfillment. Realignments are happening on based on divine wisdom and timing. You are being diverted from unnecessary obstacles and suffering. Trust in how your life path is folding. Stay true to your authentic healing journey because it is working whether you realize that or not. Significant inner healing is taking place. Really nice. Um, what is 285 hearts? Okay, this says... It's, it supports the treatment of wounds, cuts, and burns, and other damaged tissue. This is very interesting. And something over here. The adjustments taking place within your life will affect your outer, outer world. Excuse me. Just like the tumultuous alchemical journey of the caterpillar transforming into a butterfly, your inner transformation shall shape you and your world into the beautiful, inspired, and authentic form it is meant to be. Hmm. I'm gonna take a second. So, pile number twos, yes. It's really interesting we have nine of pentacles twice over here in your spread this really gives me an energy of separation like 
separation in a sense you're separating from the matrix personality i feel like you're undergoing um a personality surgery almost like you know you're really transforming into an authentic version of yourself where a lot of things are taking place so that you can really connect with your intuition with the high priestess in reverse i feel like so many things in your family their behaviors uh, your friends a lot of things have been revealed to you that uh, were falsified in your eyes it's almost like because when we're wounded right um we have a blindfold on our eyes to a lot of things that we just see you know how it said the heart um eats lies when it's hungry so when we're so in pain we just want anything that can heal us make us feel peaceful but i feel like what you're going through right now is a life-changing process which is very destined whether you realize that or not whatever is happening however it is happening whoever is coming in your life whoever you're taking out of your life it's just a version of evolving in your journey with the knight of swords and the nine of wands I feel like with the nine of wands over here, you're somebody who had been really bruised by life. You had been through a lot. You you still are. I feel like you're going through a lot. There's a lot that you're going through that is changing you internally. Um, like we just read about the caterpillar um, inside the cocoon. And it's very important for you to understand that the metamorphosis that takes place is a lot about nobody helping the caterpillar because if you try to get the butterfly outside it won't be able to fly because it needs to be strong for the blood to flow through the veins so now i feel like the spiritual magic that is taking place over here in your life is a lot about the strength that your the character that universe is building in you through these um challenges trials and tribulations and every person who becomes a spiritual healer um, has to go through a lot of um, experiences that really break them but it, it's not to break you um, and i feel like this is something that you're outgrowing which is very different from your family dynamic um, you are definitely somebody that's chosen in your family lineage you are breaking a lot of generational patterns one of the things that i really really see over here is that you're breaking free from this energy of being excessively greedy lustful or perhaps being very indulgent in um darker aspects of life where it's not to be shamed upon but it's something that pulls you to their lower self that keeps you stuck so a lot of addictions perhaps a lot of patterns um i'm also seeing you perhaps being awake late at night thinking a lot about why is this happening to me and this is definitely to break it to you that it's not happening to you it's happening for you by the universe because the universe sees such potential in you where it's a lot about perhaps a person i'm picking up over here um that was a catalyst to your journey um somebody that brought a lot of um tower moments in your life a lot of clarity a lot of pushing you to heal your own wounds and a lot of the times a lot of times when you are evolving into your spiritual nature every person is a true alchemist um and this is very representative of the fact that you first learn to heal yourself nurse yourself take care of yourself stand upon your own two feet and then you help other people right so a true alchemist is someone who genuinely masters the ability of turning pain into power and that is exactly how i would like to tell you i came up with the title of my channel because it's completely um it's it's a process that is painful it makes you cry it makes you feel like how will i get through but you always get through and that is the faith that you are developing through your spiritual nature i feel like a lot that's being revealed to you is having faith you're developing a rapport with the divine uh, the holy spirit god um your angels guides whatever you believe in whatever higher power you believe in you're developing a great rapport with that you're understanding that everything you're going through is for your best and you do not need to take revenge act pity or get stroked by your ego and hurt other people and this is something that's one of the best 
qualities of you because i feel like this is something that you struggled with in the past because it was a very learned behavior i feel like one of the things that i really pick up over here is a lot about placing your security into money tangible resources tangible establishments and assets that did not make you or anybody in your family happy and i feel like you're grounding this aspect of yourself with the knight of pentacles and the queen of cups it's a lot about you slowly evolving into the sensitive sort of aerial um, energy that i'm getting just very go with the flow and i think you're learning this and it's really good and i would definitely like to encourage you that keep going on your journey because you're doing really good um, this energy of detaching yourself from complete focus and fixation on monetary um, fulfillment is actually um, just double standards of fulfillment, right? It just gives you an illusion that you will be fulfilled, but it's, 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 it's another door to greed, you know what I mean? And it doesn't really um, let you be free in life because it makes you a chain to chasing the back that's what i said right in the beginning i said don't go too hard on yourself because you will miss out on a lot of things i'm almost hearing that um you won't get the time back but you will make the money again in your life so if you're spending a lot of time over that or if this is something that your family was very particular about you're changing that you're changing the reins and something about the upbringing that you're going to give to your children you're changing your generational dynamic and isn't that really really powerful pile number two so with the knight of swords i feel like this gives me a little bit of background image of you your history which is the king of wands eight of wands reversed um eight of cups reversed nine of pentacles we have the seven of wands reversed and the three of cups first of all i feel like um i may be having multiple partners or just not being open to having a partner is something that you lacked with um the emotional intensity between your logical self and your authentic self was definitely lost because i do not support always uh, walking with your heart on the sleeves but i do support in the fact that you understand what your heart wants and then you use your head to get it right so this is a lot about you perhaps feeling like you are not strong enough to go and approach um, maybe people that you really like or enjoy having around or just feeling this fear of rejection because you're too fixated on your monetary aspect and you're just like okay this is what's going to make me happy and i think you're really changing this because maybe you've been brought up like that or you had friends that were also very money-minded and this is really changing because um, you're breaking free from the matrix and when i refer to money minding you you feel free to exchange it with anything that is very tangible in your hands and you know that will not give you exactly the happiness that you're looking for because happiness is an inside job and why we say that is because whether you put it in a people place thing it's like that thing can be taken away every any time or you might dispose it or it might get disposed of and um, you're gonna feel unhappy and wisdom is realizing that happiness cannot be taken away because it is an inside job you know what i'm trying to deliver so over here with the king of wands in reverse and the eight of wands in reverse this energy of you being really slow especially when it comes to your heart desire you probably had a habit of overthinking over analyzing and getting yourself cobbed webbed into the what ifs and what nots and i feel like you're breaking yourself free from this um slowly by slowly but i do feel that you're doing something that is going to really change your life because it's going to make you feel more fulfilled in your life so pile number two i feel like this is a lot about you just really going behind what truly truly makes you happy and at the end of the day that is the most wise thing to do right because it should not be dependent upon how much wealth or status anything is bringing you but how much inner peace it has you know this almost reminds me of a quote that floats around on social media which is like um showing off your partner on instagram but then internally not being that happy it's almost like the irony is that if you're really that happy you wouldn't feel like showing it off to the people around you that you're very happy you know like it's not about superstitions but it's just about feeling content in the relationship right so this is a lot about perhaps you um respecting your space that's why i picked up on the introvert ambivert energy maybe you used to be quite outgoing or maybe you used to be quite flashy or there was something that was a very 
externally seeking about you and the more that you're healing the more that you're putting work into yourself which is um again i feel like it's really courageous of you because you never really believed in yourself and i just want to remind you that you're doing the right thing for yourself and this is really going to pay off for you long term and especially um you know especially when you're going to look back and see how much you invested in yourself and how um greatly you have actually lived your life right so we're gonna get one um advice card um to just end this reading for you pile number two yeah pile number two Okay, we have this one when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe definitely i did talk about you building a rapport with your own faith because you are connecting not only with your intuitive gifts and they might be really blowing you up as to how psychic um, and blessed you are i'm also getting clairsentient so you're probably really good with reading body languages or the energy of the room it's almost like you you're like a chameleon you shape shift and you blend in so that you're not very noticed and i feel like this is also a trauma response that you used to have feeling a little less confident and showing up as yourself but i feel like this is also something that you're blending in your personality so kudos to that right and we have the moment i embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that universe can truly get to work so i feel like pile number two if this is about um some person in your life or this is about a goal that you're really trying to work towards even if it's about financial aspect i feel like i put so much pressure over here you're putting a lot of pressure on it don't put so much pressure don't overthink about it just do slowly and let universe put the pieces of the puzzles because it's almost like i'll just give you a little example before you go away right um i had to give you this reading and I had to assemble all the cards but it's like if i'm holding on to the cards the universe really can't help me spread that out right let the universe put all the pieces of the puzzle in its place and do everything you have to do baby steps okay pile number two baby steps don't take the pressure the time is all yours and you're definitely going to get there and you're going to get whatever you want okay so pile number two i'm going to leave it here i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section if that was helpful and i'm going to see you guys in another one bye Hello, pile number three. This is going to be your reading if you chose this shell along with the star card over here. So before I begin, I would just like to put in a disclaimer just in case you skipped the intro. The by no means, I try to make you feel boastful about your progress, uh, but definitely encourage you upon the amount of healing that you've brought in the collective. All right. So pile number three, let's find out um how have you outgrown your old friends and family members all right so pile number three how have you outgrown your old friends and family members upright Reverse, okay. Number four, upright. 
Nice. We have two star cards over here. You're definitely an, a true alchemist is what I'm hearing. You've mastered how to turn your pain into power. You're very humble, pile number three. I feel like you have very earthy, earth angel energy. You're, you're fast learner is what I'm hearing. One of the best God's warriors is what I'm hearing. Upright reverse. Okay, this is reverse. I'm getting really emotional with your energy. You're a really kind person, very sensitive, very tender. I love your energy. I feel like I'm really connecting with you right now. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse and bottom of the deck, Eight of Cups. Okay, I see what we have here. We're gonna get one white light oracle. Number seven is really important. And a pauses. We're going to read about that in a bit. Wisdom of the Oracle. Number four is also quite significant over here. We have by the book. See, we have number four. The Emperor is also number four. We have four of pentacles. Yeah, picking up on it, I'll take it. Imagine number 20. We have chaos and conflict. Okay. Before we begin, um just going to read about this card, Anaposis. So, this means do not give up, but allow your heart to disengage from struggles. Give yourself much needed rest. You are in a phase of recovery. If you have been off your path, you are going to come back strong. You will gain your spark of passion, inspiration and devotion. A certain order of events needs to take place for your soul to come to fruition. Commit yourself to your sacred journey, trusting that the right thing will happen at the right time. Are you worried about something? Pile number three. So this oracle advises physical, emotional, psychological rest to reset yourself. That means switching off without fear or guilt. It's likely meaning to give up worries and constant replay of anxiety-ridden speculations. So if you have been considering working with a healer, this is a confirmation to pursue such a path. So um, I just feel like um, this is a hint from the universe if you have been thinking about taking professional help therapy working with a reiki healer or something like that um, this is definitely a green light that go ahead it will be really beneficial for you right now as i feel like you're working on taking off the baggage uh, you've been working really hard and that's why i said that you're an alchemist you've been working really hard and it's okay to not look at your wounds right now it's okay to take a little bit of rest on the journey right so this is don't allow your mind to derange on the ways of this world to create weariness or yet another trauma I s it's it's written drama and I said trauma so that's very interesting and even on your most confusing or most productive days you can find renewal in spirit it is always available to you even right now 
Okay, just gonna take a minute. Okay, pile number three. I love your energy. I feel like it's such a um, loose, let loose. I have given the universe the reins of my life. Take order. I do not want to be controlling. I do not want to fight. I do not want toxicity. I will not um, give in to abusive behavior. I will not argue, I will not participate, I will just remove myself from the situation so that it does not cause me any more trauma. This is where you are and how you've outgrown a lot of people in your lives. I feel like your circle, your environment, your interactions, your consumption, your television consumption, your reading habits, your tarot reading choices have also changed. Um, you're watching this reading because you're curious, you're probably... Um, just very in a in a in a little bit of um, a restlessness, but tired also. You want to get back, but you know that it's important for you to take some time to rest right now. And I feel like this is really really interesting because you have outgrown people who are always in the rat race on the hamster hamster wheel. Excuse me. The, these people, um, especially your family members, I feel like there was a father figure or some masculine energy or just the patriarchal society, your patri your paternal lineage has always been on the go, on the go. Maybe, you know, you guys travel or maybe they used to make you work really hard and you just like, no, I want to let loose. There's a lot that your family used to make you do out of conditioning by the book. And especially when I see the seven of swords, the nine of um, swords again with the card of chaos and conflicts. This is giving me a lot of conditioning and especially maybe narcissistic abuse that you've been through. And I feel like this is a lot about the pathological behaviors that your family members and friends that you attracted um, embodied at the time very on the go let's go let's go let's go let's get this done let's get this done let's get this done almost like never like let's just live and breathe you know the biggest thing your purpose on earth is to breathe and stay alive and have a nice life you know what i mean and i feel like why i really like your energy is because it's pretty evolved it understands the concept of being tired resting and then getting back up and i feel like what um you have outgrown is your own energy of workaholism your tendency to get shit done all all the time i was about to cuss so i feel like you also come from a verbally abusive background i'm also hearing physical abuse something that was very very toxic and i feel like in the beginning when i said that i just remove myself i do not reply i do not take participation in anything that's negative and it, especially if it does not pertain to me or it does not is inclusive of me i will not be there i'll be gone and this is really nice because you do not work out of insecurities you do not work out of codependency you're not at all sticking to anything even if you feel like sometimes you cannot make it through physically with physical security you're letting the universe take the reins i feel like you're really trusting the universe that universe will provide god um holy spirit angels ancestors whatever you really believe in you believe that they will provide for you they will provide for you towards the path that you're going upon and that is something that you're mastering is not only with the star Aqu aquarius energy very humanitarian you do want to help the people around you but you're choosing your battles really wisely and i feel like it's really commendable you should be really really proud of yourself and this is definitely rerouting you to the path of path of prosperity right with a hangman in reverse spice and energy you work through your intuitiveness that is one of the best qualities that you really really embody and i was about to say that's the best quality of you that you are embodying really quick in this lifetime so maybe perhaps you are having to resolve heavy karma as a light worker is what i'm hearing i did say you are one of the most strongest warriors of universe and god and i feel like this is very indicative of the fact 
fact that you have mastered certain level of pain and trauma that now you understand how to pick your battles and when and where do you need to love yourself more so isn't that a hoot like isn't there some sort of really nice wisdom because you've reached a level of self mastery where it's like you are going to take care of yourself i feel like you take care of your body you take care of your spirit you take care of your mind you put your mental health above things you put your your you heal your body image issues um you heal your eating patterns you make sure that your body gets the workout and exercise it needs you make sure that your your spirit gets to live and thrive through you more than the matrix and this is what you've really outgrown and that is really really good and i feel like if you don't understand that you're really underestimating how well you're living a life even though your physical circumstances might not be like that as of now you might be still living in the same household or you might have shifted out but if you are still living in the same household you should know that soon i'm getting the word rescued but i don't feel like you need to be rescued it's a path there's still a little bit of karma to resolve i'm going to be very honest because i feel like you understand that karma is not always a bad word it's just a little bit of um, character development it's just a little bit of lessons to be learned and resolved so that you can become completely independent um on your own and i feel like you're quite there because the devil in reverse with the stars like you're healing major major healing we have three we have three we have actually um five major arcanas over here and it's really prominent changes that you've made right you've separated yourself from this energy of feeling like i can't make myself happy how will i make myself happy i don't have this i don't have that you've come out of the lack you see the glass half full and this is such a great quality to have as a person because it's so difficult because you always forget what you have you know until it's gone and um, honestly pile number 3 i feel like i have nothing but good compliments for you because not only are you healing yourself but you're healing your for your future generations and that's the best gift that you can give is leaving a really pure loving and healthy legacy behind right it's a lot about you healing from um abuse narcissistic abuse uh, especially from your paternal side and yeah there's not much that i would like to say you have truly done a lot of work so congrats by number 3 um we're just going to get one last advice card for you before spirit um lets you guys go True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So I feel like there were two messages coming through. One is definitely that you know when to take a break. You know you have childhood issues to heal. You know when something comes up, but you take it easy. You're learning to accept the dark part of you and the light part of you. I think you were really self-critical before, but now you're just like this is who I am. this is what made me and this is who i am and i'm really proud of myself for the work i've been doing and this is exactly how you should be and sometimes if you become a little self critical i just want to remind you that don't push the self love in future love yourself exactly how you are today even with the trauma okay and we have Every moment in the universe is conspiring to bring me to a right minding thinking and energy of love. So this is a lot about your consumption that you've changed, the people that you've probably distanced, the family members that you've not um been spending a lot of time with. This is the right way to be about. Nothing should come above your mental health. I'm hearing bail on that plan if you don't like to be around them or if they suck the lightness out of you you know if you have people that you suspect that pull the lightness and the jovial energy out of you don't be around them don't feel guilty at all to say no and lastly we have when i lean on faith and universe peace becomes real so this is a lot about your wisdom we have the owl and the crown chakra over here with the purple my happiness is a direct reflection of level of faith in the universe this is a lot about you just really being carefree not going by the book doing however life is coming in your hands and this is exactly the way it should be you are 
definitely um, outgrowing patterns of controlling issues, right? Um, you're really operating from a love, loving vibration, right? That's what I wanted to deliver, pile number three. So I'm going to leave it here. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon. So you know whenever I upload next, um, let me know down in the comment section how that was helpful for you. And um, I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye.